Guten Tag, Scott. We're off to Wagen. Scott, you and I are checking out a point-and-click adventure game, something I'm looking forward to. This is up my wheelhouse, dude. I love the point-and-click adventure genre, so this is kind of a throwback for me. It's something a little bit different for you. We're checking out Siberia, the world before. For all of us catching up in the world of what's going on with Kate Walker, she is located right now in a prison, gets out of that prison, Scott. I'm just giving you a high level here of what's going on. And from there, comes across a stolen painting of a particular woman that looks very similar to herself with mm -hmm. nothing left to kind of hold on to she sets out on this journey and kind of keeps her going to find out just exactly who this woman is and that's kind of the premise behind the the story of the game and it was enough to kind of hook me dude the some of the characters we've met and intertwined with right from the get-go this donna uh, dana woman at the very beginning of the game because you're transported back in 1937 in Wagen. Yeah, I think that's the coolest part for me, actually, is the way they jump around in the different timeline and the way... Yeah. Well, it's centered in, like, an alternate reality from ours. So there's a lot of things yeah. that are very similar, but they, they've changed a lot of the names. Like, uh, the Brown <laughs> Shadow, for example, is... Well, it's a certain fascist government that we defeated uh, about 80 years sure. ago. Sure. Yeah, so they play off of that, right? So the Brown Shadow has stolen a lot of this artwork and stuff like that. And we've come across, we stumbled as Kate Walker, stumbled across this painting that uh, looks like the, like her. And from there, it kind of sets out on her journey from there. And Scott, which I thought was unique is a lot of times now, point and click adventure games are really getting into that mouse and keyboard aspect. Here, dude, everything's controlled by the mouse alone. Mm -hmm. And that is it, right? My biggest problem though, Scott, if you're not that familiar with the game itself or these characters, there is not a lot to catch you up into the realm of Kate Walker and where she was before, because I haven't played the other ones. I've always kind of seen them from the outside looking in and go, man, this is really cool. I've always been playing on the Broken Sword series. So big point click adventure game series over there. Played all of those coming into this one. It's something I've always kind of kept my eye on and seeing how beautiful this game looked and Kate's story and I wanted to be kind of enthralled into her world. I had no way to catch up of what was going on from previous titles. Dude, this is the fourth in the series. Oh, wow. So like what happened to everybody else or what happened to some of these characters? We meet some of this other, she has a heart of, a, of an automaton. And I was like, who's this? Cause I had no idea, right? So here I am, I'm now researching other previous games because I don't have a clue what's going on. And that's one of the biggest struggles for me is to figure out who kate is as a person from her previous titles so i can get caught up because they have throwbacks and references to other games that for you know longtime fans i think is going to be really nice but for new people like ourselves scott we're a little just confused how did you feel yeah. about the game uh, it was very hard to get invested in the characters um well sure. for a little while some things happen very early on and you go okay i understand this the motivation why we're yeah. going on this kind of adventure nobody wants to live and work in a salt mine forever so that makes sense <laughs> but it's, it, yeah. it enters this realm of mystery right off the start and that's definitely yeah. i almost consider this like a detective game in the way that la noir is Sure. But it's just minus all the gunfights that L.A. Noir really didn't need. So they've improved that formula a little bit. But the, <laughs> the world is what I get pulled into. Again, I have to oh, go back man. to that because well, the technology around, the kind of different automatons. Yeah. You get on the bus, the train, and it, there's a little oh, robot so driving cool. it. Really cool. But that yeah. heart that you carry around and you put into the new automaton, the way you interact <laughs> with the different technology bits... And, you know, yep. you, there's a puzzle element to it always. You're, oh, yeah. you know, assembling a code or whatever that opens up a new slot in it. There's a device in there. You know, there's all sorts of little step-by-step -step processes to open yep. it up. And it, it gives me that Bioshock kind of technology level. Or almost, nice. I think I said this to you earlier, almost like a Dishonored yeah. feel. Where it's like, not an advanced technology in all ways, but it's sure. doing something that we just haven't done in the real world it had this this dunwall effect on yeah. it right with the architecture of the buildings and the structure and the layout of the land and stuff like that dude i was hooked like i was instantly hooked into the world even though i was definitely a little confused as to what was going on why is kate in this salt mine with katusha and what are they doing here and how they get there is my biggest question right like why are they there you get this letter and you've kind of you figure out that you've run away but you don't know why and then it's kind of like man if i had a little bit more backstory maybe i have more compassion as to why i'm here and why i'm struggling to to you know live each day and what's going on to push myself forward but as in 
every other point click adventure game it is riddled with puzzles and stuff like mm -hmm. that and i didn't i got i'm stuck i got stuck on a couple here or there but i was able to figure them out push forward yeah Dude, it, that it, feels it's good it's got it's it does feel good right it's one of those challenges as as, as they're definitely not related but you know it's kind of like defeating a boss in elder ring when you achieve that it's like oh sweet you're good. on the next one right yeah i so can finally kind of like move through click. the game <laughs> well exactly so i think kate has played really well i think her voice acting was awesome i thought the world oh, yeah. is fantastic dude the music the audio behind the game the score was incredible yeah and i loved every minute of it dude this game i thought was fantastic very early on when you're speaking to these scientists and i just could not figure out how to advance the conversation it was really uh, eventually i understood it and i'll, I'll give a hint yeah. because it stuck me there is something on the table that you have to examine and the yeah. circle to indicate that just wasn't there so it wasn't I had highlighted to, right yeah it, it just there was no way for me to interact with that object eventually i reloaded it and it did work so it wasn't a major hmm. hold up but that was just one little issue Scott, I think we had a good time, a little bit of a puzzling time in the world of Siberia, the world before. What do you score in this one? I was really excited about this one when I got in. It had a bit of a slow start for me, but as yeah. you've pointed out, it's because I'm lacking a lot of the backstory. So that sure. makes a lot of sense. But I, I really, really loved this world. I really liked the puzzle building parts of it. And I, yeah. well, I... I was eventually drawn through the story. I was hooked and pulled in. So I think that's just about anything you could hope for from a point and click game. And yep. it was kind of a quicker pace than I was expecting. I'm, <laughs> I really think this is a good one. I'm there with a, a 7.5. It didn't get me in some aspects, but mostly I'm, I'm really a fan. No, oh, that's cool. Dude, I'm higher than you. I'm a big point and click adventure fan. For me, I think anybody who's a fan of this genre needs to play this game. I think it's right up there with one of the best around. This is an awesome experience. It had to hook me right from the beginning for the story. Puts me there with an 8.5. Siberia, the world before, is an engaging adventure set in a beautiful parallel reality. A great story is the focus with this one. 